What's up, what's up, y'all? This is Jidenna, and I'm with Shalit Africa. So, like, when I was young, I, I did a lot of different hustles. So, I used to sell chains. That was, like, a big thing. So, people were like, yo, why are you wearing chains? I always actually loved chains. When I, I'm talking about, like, 10, 11 years old in the U.S., I was selling chains. I knew the new styles. I would grab them, sell them for cheap. Or, uh, or sell, sell a fake ones actually, to be honest. Um, I used to bootleg uh, PlayStations, sell them to people. I was always hustling mainly for gear. I just wanted to be fresh. But the issue that I had then is like, I was thinking with a broke mind state, even though I was making money. When you're young with money, you think of it very simply in terms of stacking it and spending it. When you mature with money, it's growing it or betting it. So you don't just save it, it literally grows. And I, I always tell people a very simple lesson that I learned from nature being in Kingston, Jamaica. I was looking at the streams and the rivers. Currency, the root word is current. So you have to move your money. So saving is, is stagnant money. So you're actually losing money when you just save it. Make sure you're growing it and moving it. And then a bet, you bet like, I only bet like 10%, 5% of the money that's coming in. Now I'm betting a little bit more, but in general, I bet that, and then that, that can flip them and have a higher reward. Building a tribe and business is a constant uh, journey. I don't think you ever just stop building a tribe. People come, people go, you fire, you hire. Um, and I, I've been trying different things. Like some, I had a rule earlier where I would say, hire slow, fire quick. So when, when, when somebody's not doing the job right, fire them quick, slash them. Now I've been hiring quick, firing quick. And that's my rule of thumb now. In general, I think that um, I've also been looking at whether, this is not on a resume usually, but I ask people whether or not they play sports or athletic. Because I, I found that that has a, a, it affects you because you know how to work on a team play football or some sort, of, some sort of, and if it wasn't that, were you in drama, were you in some program or some situation where you had to work with a team? Because if not, that person may not understand. I even ask questions like, are you an only child? Are you like, all these things matter. Those are some of the ways kind of that I've been searching out and seeking. I'm not a resume guy. I hire based on, on cause you're gonna lie even in the interview. So I, I really rather just hire you and then give you a trial run. And then if you if it works, great. If not, then. One thing that I think is underestimated in business, uh, it actually has real financial value. It sounds silly, but being kind. Being kind to people. Because that creates social capital. Even if you're like thinking very selfishly, like, <laughs> why am I gonna be kind? Because every every business goes through dips. Every single every artist goes through an up and a down, an up and a down. And so if you're not good to people on the way up, they will finish you when you go down. They'll just bury you. They'll be happy. But if you're good to people on the way up, you treat the all got the same way you treat the house help. Like they're on the same level, then you always be buoyant. You always be floating. My message to motherland moguls, never be, let yourself be interrupted by men in any space. Like you deserve every, you deserve all the placement that you can get. You deserve all the access. I really think that we need to move away from the patriarchal countries that we have across the continent. Cause it's really denying a whole sector of, in the private sector of, of women entrepreneurs. Now y'all are rising and I see it left and right. My sisters, two of my sisters are included. You know, they would be considered motherland moguls. I just want uh, there to be more access for all of you. It's really, my message is really for, is for men to get out the way. I'll be honest, like that's really what I'm getting at. Y'all y'all are doing what you do. You're doing, you're building wonders for this continent and for the world. I just, my prayer is really just that men get out the way. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what's up, what's up, y'all? This is Jidenna, and I'm with Shalit Africa.